Hello world, Shelly here, and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest, and today I am checking out from Yensa, the Super Serum Silk Foundation retails for $45 for one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters of product. I picked this up at Nordstrom where it is getting 4.9 out of 5 stars with hundreds of reviews. On their own website, it's getting 4.7 out of 5 stars with hundreds of reviews. Like, oh yeah. Now, I've had really good luck with Yensa complexion products so far in my experience with them, so I'm very excited for this one because wait till you hear what I'm about to read to you. A serum foundation that is supercharged with skin-loving peptides and an age-defying complex of vitamin C, E, and ferulic. Woo -woo. And <gasps> Bacuccio oil! <laughs> My new favorite, like, similar to retinol and the effects it has on the skin. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Helps brighten firm and prevent fine lines and wrinkles. Flawless full coverage. 16 shades. I picked this up in light neutral, which is the fourth lightest shade. All I got to say. So the thing that Yensa's skincare or Yensa products are known for is their skincare approach and their, what do they call it? The eight super blacks essence. So in the super blacks essence that is included, it's black tea, black sesame oil, shiitake mushroom, black seaweed, chia seed, Korean black raspberry, nettle, and black rice. And so that's in here too. And that's, that's like their calling card. So uh, I'm super excited to try this. It sounds super hydrating. It sounds like it's got fantastic skincare. Uh, I also like, what was the phrase they use? They don't say anti-aging. I think they call it gentle aging. And I appreciate the sentiment. I still call it anti-aging, but I appreciate the sentiment. So let's take a look at this shade light neutral swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's foundation from Yensa, the Super Serum Silk Foundation in light neutral. Second, I've got from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear Stay in Place in 1C1 Cool Bone. Third up is MAC Studio Sculpt in NW15. And last is Wet n Wild's Tinted Hydrator in Fair. I've already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 48-year-old face. I have primed with the amazing Cosmetics Line Smoother and Primer. If, when I initially reviewed this, you missed out on it, I think they're about to do a restock. So keep your eyes peeled. It might have already happened by now, but you should be able to get your hands on this from the Amazing Cosmetics website very, 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 very soon. I will go in on one side of my face with a damp sponge. Poof! This thing's big. I don't even know which, which one this is. I don't know, but I usually get them from Shop Miss A, the AOA paw animal cruelty donation, whatchamacall, shelter, whatever. It probably came from there. Or on the other side, I will use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. We will see if I have a preference one way or the other. Let's check out this puppy. Doesn't really seem to do much when I shake it, but I like to shake them up anyway. Let's see what we got. All right, all right, all right. Let's go in on, I'm probably gonna need a little more than this, but we will find out. Now, Yensa also is the one brand that has the undertone that works really well for me, the one that is very, very similar to the no longer available CYO Life Proof in 101. It's that sort of, I call it a gray undertone. I know that sounds weird, but it's, uh, that's, that's kind of how I see it. And it's a really hard undertone to find. And I was hoping that in my choice here that I would be getting it. And I think we may be getting it because this does look like a really good undertone match for me. I'm getting foundation in my hair. All right. Pretty light coverage with one pass and the sponge, but there is definitely some coverage happening because I'm noticing my, my darker sunspots are quite a bit less visible than they were. Let's try, oh, I did not blend that out very good on my forehead now, did I? Let's try the brush side. 
Let's see where we go. Yeah, this is definitely that undertone. Thank you, Yensa. Please don't ever stop making this undertone. This undertone is my savior. This undertone gives me life. This undertone is so hard to find. There are just so few products that that make this undertone available. Usually they are in the K-Beauty realm with um, like the Misha 21. That is the other place where I find this undertone when I need it. Yeah, this has really good coverage just straight away. I did not use a lot of product there and I would say we are approaching medium coverage with the sponge. You definitely get or with the brush. You definitely get more coverage here with the brush. I, I still have a little bit of product left, but I do want to sort of even out the coverage from sponge to brush. So I'm just going to go in with like just a little dab more. So we will try to build a little bit on my blood vessel and my sunspots that like to poke through here and so I'm gonna try to even it out and build it up just a little bit gotta get my nostrils a little better let's see how buildable I'm gonna use this not as concealer because I'm actually going to also film their I have their concealer to try so we will be doing that as well. Keep your eyes peeled. I will probably be posting that one next Friday. All right. Yeah, you could definitely get this to full coverage if you wanted to. It's it's like on its way there. I mean, what sunspots? <laughs> you know, but it's a very skin-like finish. It's, it's very nicely skin-like. And I also like, this is true of their, what is it, a BBCC cream, whatever the heck that other one is called. It has this um, nice liquid texture as it goes on, but it sets down to a really nice set, nice canvas finish. It's just really good for going in with the rest of your makeup. And that just must be how they formulate it because they're, they're, other product that I've used is similar that way. I'm looking in my my monitor here and I am uh, I'm pretty excited about how this is looking right now. This is looking nice. You know me and my coverage. I like my coverage. Let's zoom in and get a look at what is going on here. It's doing a really nice job of coverage overall. It is nicely smoothing, nicely blurring. I think it's it's not emphasizing any texture, anything like that. It even looks good on my nose, which is true of their other product as well. And that's kind of a rarity. My nose doesn't often look smooth. So it's not clinging to the texture between my eyebrows. It is not clinging anywhere on my forehead. It's not settling into my forehead lines. It's not settling into pores. It's really just giving me a nice, a nice full coverage kind of look. It's very, very close to full coverage and I barely even built it up. So I think it's solid, solid coverage, even with one pass. I'm pretty excited at how this is looking right now. Let's check the time. It is 2.26. I'm gonna go put the rest of my face on and I will be right back. Back with the Yensa Super Serum Foundation and y'all, I am feeling myself right now. Feeling it. Whole thing. Uh, I got some makeup to talk about. Ah. Uh, where do I start? Uh, might as well start with brows. I'm playing around with some new stuff from Lawless. I filled in my brows as I don't usually do because I'm L-A-Z-Y. Uh, and this tone is actually not too warm for me, which I'm kind of shocked. This is pecan. And uh, I have a hard time finding brow pencils that aren't too warm, but are dark that aren't black. So 
I'm pleased, you know, I'm kind of looking at my natural hair color versus what's going on with the brow pencil. And I'm also using, I think this is new, Hold Up Soft Set Creamy Brow Wax. And it's holding pretty good. This is my uncooperative brow where this part always falls down and it's staying in place. So we'll see if that holds for the rest of the day. And I'm also checking out their mascara, which, oh, I'm digging. Let me show you the brush, cause reasons. The one and done mascara. So, you know, I usually like the bushy, bristly brushes. Say that 10 times fast. Pokey brushes, I'm usually not a fan of because I have a tendency to poke myself in the eye. So it's user error, I know. But this one is kind of pokey, but it's got that little ball on the end. Now, other brands have come out with these ball on the end brushes that are just kind of obnoxious. Like I find that when I'm doing my lashes, I will have that big, it's too big and it gets in the way and it doesn't really grab those tiny little hairs and then you end up getting it on your face. And this one's not too big. And I find that the shape of it, like the way the bristles are configured, you can actually take that little ball and kind of get in and do that detail oriented, like grabbing of all the little baby hairs that might not have been caught in the bristles as you brushed through. So I'm just gonna put it out there that I kind of like this pokey brush. And that's not normal for me to say that. Uh, I also wore it on my lower lash line. So we will see if it smudges. This is the first time I put it on my lower lashes. So we'll see by the end of the night if it smudges. My lower lashes are long and they touch my face when I look down. So I usually get smudging under my lashes. There are only two mascaras in the world <laughs> that I've tried that don't do that. And those are the Estee Lauder Zero Smudge, the double wear, what the heck is it called? Estee Lauder <laughs> Double Wear Zero Smudge and the Merit Beauty Mascara. Now I did just order. One of you suggested, now I can't think of the name of it, just ordered it, uh, a mascara from MAC that doesn't smudge. So I did just order that from Ulta yesterday. So it's on its way here and I'll try that too. But we will see on that. So Lawless, loving the brow products. We'll see how the mascara goes, but I love how it looks. This is two coats and mm, chef's kiss. Nice, I like a dramatic lash. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. Okay, next thing of makeup to talk about. I was at Target and ColourPop appears to have, well, appears they do have products that they are now making for Target. So, so this is one of the eyeshadow palettes, Vibe Check, and it's super cute. I also just ordered another ColourPop palette on Ulta. I did a little uh, retail therapy yesterday on Ulta's website. Well, I spent some points. So, I mean, does that count as retail therapy? It is retail therapy without the price tag, which is nice. Uh, but the packaging says very specifically ColourPop for Target. So I don't know if these are exclusive to Target. My guess would be yes. Uh, but I got a Super Shock Shadow, which I am wearing. This one is in, what shade is this? Ripple, and it's gorgeous. It's the one I have in the center of my lid. And then the palette is the rest of my eyes. So bravo, ColourPop. Love you. Glad to see you in Target probably dangerous because if you continually refresh what you're offering there, I will keep spending money. So good on you if that's your plan. Because yeah, you will uh, separate me from my money. And the rest of my face, no surprise, flower, heat wave, bronzer, my blush and highlights are my new love from Salt New York. It's their palettes, their zero waste and cream products. Loving, 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 loving. So the blush I'm wearing is mauve and their pearl highlights. And my lip, don't you hate it when you combine a couple products and then you know you fall in love with it and you know you're never gonna be able to replicate it. That's gonna be the story of my life here. I lined my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk liner and 
My lipstick is two different shades. How did I lose them? Here we go. The outer lips I did with Batty, the like maroon shade, and then the inner, I think this is Charmer? Where's Sherlock? I'm reading it upside down, but it's Charmer. And I did that for the center, and I just love how it turned out, so I'll probably never be able to do that again. Such is life. Is that everything that's on my face? I think so. All right, guess where I'm going. I'm gonna go get a sandwich. <laughs> we'll go about my day. I'm gonna do a daylight check-in in a little bit, and I'll come back tonight, give you guys my final thoughts. Hey guys, it has been a couple hours, but the weather seems to be getting a little cloudy, and I wanna make sure I get this daily check-in before it gets too dark out here. It's a little after four right now. And here we are with the Yensa. It is looking lovely, I think. Shade matches, Mwah, chef's kiss. So pleased, so pleased. Love their undertone on their neutrals. Mm. So this is light neutral. This is where we're at a couple hours in. See a little, little, is that sunset coming? It looks so pretty. All right, I'll be back tonight. We'll wrap this one up. 12.22 a.m. If you can see it, it tells me I should be asleep. Let's take a look at how the Yensa Super Serum Skin Silk Silk Foundation held up. Well, I almost just went to bed without checking in, so that's a good sign in terms of comfort. Pardon the cat hair. The kitten has been climbing all over me. I thought she was right there. Oh, she is. You, you might get a kitten photobomb. I don't think she can get in front of the camera without knocking a whole lot of things over. So let's hope that doesn't happen. The other thing you can't see is that I am sitting on the very front edge of my vanity chair because Polly, the other one of my four cats is behind me and won't get up. So I'm, I'm sitting on the very, very, very edge of the chair, balancing on my tiptoes so I don't fall over. This, this is my life. <laughs> so yes, the foundation feels wonderful. I think it is just fine for dry skin. I do not feel dry, tight, dehydrated, nothing. I feel wonderfully good. Let's zoom in and get a look at how it held up. And this will be a first look for me in a while as well. And it looks like it held up pretty good. I did have to blow my nose uh, multiple times today. What else is new in my world? Looks like I've lost a little bit of coverage on my chin and around my mouth. Ignore the nose, but the blush bronzer highlight is still seems perfectly intact. Doesn't look like it's changed at all throughout the day. Nothing's bunching up in texture or lines. My forehead looks good. Doesn't look like anything moved around. It doesn't look like there's been much change at all, which is good. I think it's holding up really well because, well, if it's... So we're at about the 10 hour mark. Forgot to do my math earlier. Ooh, Polly just jumped out. No, she didn't. She just moved. Oh, I thought I was free. I thought I could sit back. No, cannot sit back. Ooh, my thigh is going to have a have a good... What is... I always mix it up. What's your quads? Are your quads the top half or your hammies? I don't know. I always forget what all, what all those muscles are. Because I don't really... I don't do the whole muscle thing. <laughs> we, we are plump. We are not muscular. Ooh, here she goes. I don't think you've ever seen Polly on video. Oh. Ah, oh, so close. She's gonna have her minute of fame. Ah, oh, but now I can sit like a normal person. Ah, oh, so much better. So, for dry skin, I think we're in good shape. For maturing skin, I'm seeing no issues with lines, textures, settling, moving around. Long wear, love the undertone, but that's not part of the grade, really. If I did have to give a grade to this new Yensa, I gotta go A. I, I've had a feeling I was going to like it because they don't make claims they can't back up and I have liked a lot of their products in the past. So I'm not surprised at all, but I am still overjoyed because I love having good stuff with good skincare in it that looks beautiful, especially when there's coverage. Because so many of these new like skincare makeup hybrid things are super low coverage, very light, natural, and I'm like, oh, 
oh, but you know I love me some coverage. You know I love me some coverage. So I'm pretty excited about this. Bravo, Yensa. You knocked this one out of the park. Happy day. Have you tried it? Have you tried anything from Yensa? What do I need to try? Let me know down below. More foundations you want to see? Let me know in the comments. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and hope you all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.